It's Friday, baby. I'm heading up to Starks, Maine with the JSB boys to play a festival at Harry Brown's Farm. Pretty excited about this one. We've been wanting to make our debut at this place for a long time and it finally lined up. It's a bit of a drive. It's like five hours, but luckily I got a good co-pilot coming with me today too. And uh, we'll be staying over in a hotel tonight, playing the festival tomorrow morning and then uh, driving back. I think it's gonna be a good way to kind of start the fall season. Let's do it. Gear, gear gear and more gear to get <laughs> it's crazy to me that over the years i've just acquired more and more stuff <laughs> i thought i thought that maybe you know as the years went on i would realize you know maybe i don't need as much and because you know in the beginning when you're first kind of starting out you think that you need literally you know every piece of gear imaginable but everything that i'm bringing is essential to the rig itself too uh, in terms of, you know, my amp setup, my pedal board, uh, and then that's just the music stuff. And then there's all the promo stuff too that I use while we're playing. That's the cameras that does the, the two switcher thing, um, including the audio with the, with the, uh, everything else too that's kind of needed in order to promote the gig after the fact too. So uh, there's definitely a lot of stuff for sure. So luckily, I don't have to make this drive alone. Uh, my wonderful best friend and uh, actually best man at my wedding, uh, Will Jakubiak, is coming and joining me on this wonderful adventure. Because it's a long drive, and, you know, and everybody knows, I'm sure, when you have to make these long drives, it's not exactly the most fun, too. So I'm glad he's coming with me. He's about to get here. We're going to be on the road. So check in back at the hotel. Oh, man. Just, just got here to a hotel. It looks like I'm crying, but I was just laughing so hard. Well, what do you think about about this wonderful hotel that we're at right now? Oh, it is something. Let me tell you. What happened when we got here? Um, so when we got here, uh, pulled up, no vacancy. They sent us an email saying that uh, the room we were given did not have two beds like we requested. There was only one bed. So we're like, okay, whatever. We're, we're, we're good friends. We'll make it work. But uh, we get here. Uh, the guy interrogates John for his like ID very aggressively, which I didn't appreciate, for, first of all. And... Uh, so after that, we're trying to load the gear in. We're, we're looking around and there, there's no elevator. We're on the second floor, of course. There's no luggage cart. Uh, there's no elevator. So we have to lug all this gear and guitars up the stairs and stuff. And then open the door, just get blasted with this, just this. I wish I could describe it to you. I lack the vocabulary. Yeah, it's, it's literally like nothing either one of us have ever smelled before. I, it's... It's not even must. No, no, dude. It's like it's 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 unpleasant. It's definitely it's, unpleasant. Unpleasant's a good word. It's like, it, it, but it's it's it's, a, it's yeah, the windows are open. It's like forty two degrees out. We're gonna sleep in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and then we then we flip on the TV and there's just like the news. There's just six different news channels playing at the same time, which which, which was enjoyable to, for just to be bombarded with that stimuli right there. That was nice. But uh, we we did find actual TV. We did. Uh, but yeah, Harry Potter's on, so let's see if we watch that. Yeah, I just hope the festival isn't like this tomorrow. Let's, <laughs> fingers crossed. Wish us luck. We are here, waiting in line. How, how was the drive? Wasn't bad, nice scenic uh, rolling hills of Maine, nice river valleys, nice meadows, nice uh, big old pickup truck with a uh, half American, half Confederate flag on it, which <laughs> well, which I liked, which is like, which because you know, like sometimes like, like why pick sides? Of course, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, you yeah. gotta appease everybody is uh, what I always say. Yeah. <laughs> but now we're just waiting. Oh, it's moving, the it's line's moving. moving. Yeah, we are. We're going. Here we go. Here we go. I got a couple of cars in front of us. Just a couple.
this close to only bringing my acoustic rig, I probably would have been kicking myself right now. I'm glad I brought the electric. I'm going to start bringing both by default in case we ever need to do, uh, you know, an impromptu acoustic set or anything like that too. But we're about to hit the stage. Let's do it. <laughs> the power sword. I have the Ibanez. What did you think, Joe? Uh, I don't want to do much thinking up there. I just feel it, you know? Ooh, good. What an answer. It was quite brisk. And now it's... It's pretty warm. It's warming up. It is warming up. Which is nice. It's out. Yeah, yeah. We're not complaining, but... And it's not like we're staying here overnight or anything. True. So we'll be out here by the time it gets to like 37 degrees. Or that, that's true. Oh, it's got to be so cold yeah. here and that. I can't even imagine. Another gig, yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Well, how do you feel about driving the Sticks Mobile? It's pretty nice, you know. To, to got, got a little bit of giddy up, you know. Sometimes you have to really, really give it to her, but uh, <laughs> she'll get you there. She'll take you there. She'll get you back. Okay, really quick. Uh, I'm actually at a gas station right now. Uh, heading to another gig. Yeah, I know. I know I'm crazy. You don't have to tell me that. My fiance thinks I'm nuts too. But uh, real quick, I just want to give everybody a shout out for everything they did uh, to make the wonderful gathering happen at Harry Brown's Farm. This weekend we had a blast. It was our first time playing there too. So very excited to have been a part of it. Also, just want to give a shout out to my main man, Will Jakubiak, my best fan and my best friend for uh, taking the drive back. He drove four and a half hours back so I could rest and be good for this gig tonight too so that's the sign of a true friend right there too love you buddy thanks to everyone else too for checking all this out appreciate you 